near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. Hello, all you minties. This is TikTok Tina. How's it going, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar. Why do you sound like a show host? Because we're going to give you an overview today of the Promised Neverland complete box set from Viz Media. Oh, okay. Yeah, stay tuned. Welcome back. We're doing an overview of the Promised Neverland complete box set, which does collect the full set, 1 through 20. So 20 volumes in here. Now, is that everything that people need? There's no more to the story? This is everything that you need for the complete The Promised Neverland. So there's no spin-off titles or anything like The Unpromised Neverland? I can't promise you there will never be a spin-off of this, but right now this is all you need. Boruto and his mighty misadventures. We're not going to okay. talk about that today. Okay. Okay. We're talking about The Promised Neverland. So as the box is spinning here, I did want to just showcase exactly what the artwork looks like all over this particular box. I love the fact that they're using different pictures for each of the different sides. Granted, you know, these are the covers or just from the manga. Now, who are the three characters that we're showcasing here? Although I do see a redheaded dude there. Uh, who's the young lady there with the so, number? With the number. Which we'll uh, talk about when we open up the box. Absolutely. This is Emma. She's one of our main protagonists. Okay. What about the dude with the black hair? What's his name? His name is Ray. Okay. Other protagonist, right? Other pro protagonist? The white-haired guy? That's oh, Norman. Norman. Okay. Al? What about the Al? Is that a spoiler um, if we talk about that guy? It, or that, lady? That's not quite a character, but we can talk about the meaning of the Al later. The meaning of the Al? <laughs> and that is not code for anything. No, absolutely. And you'll see another character when it flips around to the back side, or I guess the front side. We don't side. have to wait till it does. Just talk <laughs> about the dude with the red hair? No, not the dude with the red hair. Well, I mean, we can, but I'm not going to talk about him. I'm going to specifically talk about Mother or Isabella. Okay, when we look at the internal artwork. Uh, it does come with a handle, so you can take this to work or school. And then... It's pretty heavy for school. I did want to showcase the bottom of the box. Volumes 1 through 20, double-sided poster, prequel mini book, We Were Born. I love when they throw that in there. The ISBN, and then all the licenses here, like Viz Media, Shonen Jump. Uh, the book, or the box set, retails for $179.99. So, let's open it up, Tina. Absolutely. I want to see this mini poster. Yeah, there we go. There we are. Okay, so the mini book is right there, if you want to pull that out. Absolutely. And that is the, I think it's a prequel is what it said. Let me see. It's not very thick, right? It's just No, it's very see. thin. Looks to be about 32 pages, or 31 pages rather. So 31 pages of original material. With a little sketch in the back. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. All right, let's check out the double-sided poster. While we're looking for the double-sided poster, I did want to showcase what it looks like inside. So it's just white there's no patterns or designs but the sides do have designs on them i do like that you have the nighttime of the school and the daytime of the school and then up there scribbling all right let's look for this poster so here we have the double-sided poster which you can see some of the uh the demons the the children the demons what okay <laughs> Should I say spoilers? No, it's not spoilers because this is all what this is all about. You see the mothers, the sisters. Mm, okay. And then you have the manga ka down here, which we'll talk about in a little bit. All right. Uh, each one of these, by the way, you can purchase separately. So volume one can be separate, uh, separately bought. They're all $9.99 all the way to volume number 20. We'll look at the covers first. Let's look at the covers, Omar. Okay. This is gorgeous artwork. Um, I got a story to tell while you're showcasing the covers of each of these volumes. I bought volume one for my five-year-old daughter. And I, oh, I, no. I, she, I know you oh, know this. Omar. Based, I know this story, but oh, Based on the you? cover alone of, of volume one, I'm like, oh, that looks cute. That looks like a bunch of kids going to school. Because of this cover. She just started preschool and she loved reading. Like she was reading oh, no. Marvel and DC comics. And I wanted to have a taste of manga. Um... Uh, 
for the people that have kids out there or for people that don't, don't buy know this for your kids uh, this is really definitely small. not for kids as a matter of fact this is rated older teen so teen plus I also keep that in mind uh, because she came to tell me uh, poppy I don't think I'm supposed to be reading these because um, there's decap she said decapitation and I was like what <laughs> within the first volume within the first volume and I went to read it and I'm like damn it I should have read it myself. So this is rated older teen. So keep that in mind. Yeah, you know, and it's very difficult in in manga sometimes as a parent if you don't know anything about manga, you think you're buying Boruto or Pikachu, you know, like Adventures, but it's not. Pikachu this, Adventure, this sure. is, is not... that a real manga Pikachu Adventure? You think of Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like if you're trying to find something for your kid, everything looks kiddish. Even some of these covers from later on look something innocent. Uh but no, the story is a little bit darker, which we'll talk about when we look at volume number one. We'll take a closer look at volume number one. And as I was saying, each of these can be bought individually for $9.99. So if you do the math, you know, that's 20 volumes, so about $200. So you're saving about $30, right, Tina? Roughly, yes. Or is that bad math? You're saving twenty dollars. It's one seventy nine ninety nine, Tina, not one sixty nine ninety nine. I'm not good at math. Okay, come on now. You agreed with me. All right, let's open up. Uh, volume one and talk about give me the pitch of this series so omar i can completely understand why you would have bought this well, kids. for your daughter because they look like they're about to go on an up, adventure looking for holes or whatever we the meet hell meet the what? orphans okay so what are the orphans teach teach me about this series tina so the orphans are being cared for by a mother isabel um she's taking care of them she's teaching them and it, it looks really, really cute at first, but you don't have to go very far in when we see something's just not quite right with the whole orphan setup. You know, they're in this protected village. They can't go beyond the walls. And they all the kids have these numbers on them, right? Uh, well, I did notice that. Yeah. Right. You, you notice some things are just kind of off, which, you know, if you had just gone a few more pages in, Omar... You can see oh my gosh. that there's some um, some other stuff going on. So we have demons in this world. Okay. Um, and you quickly find out that these kids are being raised for very nefarious reasons. They're being farmed, like we for would for food. For food, and uh, or and they're actual orphans. Like they don't have any parents. They do, and that comes later in the series. Okay, don't don't say. Just stick to the main or the volume the one. Yeah, the volume pitch. one. So the pitch is basically these kids find out, unfortunately, uh, when one of their fellow orphans um, gets taken, that they're not going to go to adoptive parents. They're going to, unfortunately, go somewhere else. So that's the premise of this. Um, you know, they're they're orphans and they're being raised for. Uh, for nefarious purposes. Okay, so how do the kids find out? Who who finds out that they're being used for food? Like Soylent Green, is that what we're talking about here? Yes, essentially. <laughs> that's awful. The the brain is meat. Okay. Um, the smarter the better, uh, and that's why they're they're being taught everything. Uh, we oh. find out because one of the children, quote unquote, get adopted. Okay. And she forgets her favorite stuffed animal. And obviously, I paused on this the scene right here. It's Norman and okay. Emma that want to bring back her little bunny to the one that just got adopted. You know, happy times. So she's like, hey, I found a family. Bye, everybody. Okay, yes. so I don't need to say, if you can't stomach children being hurt in fiction, this may not be for you, right? Like, yeah. There are people that can't stomach animals or kids being hurt in any kind of way right this this would absolutely not be, for not for you if they're being used as if food you don't want little connie meeting her end in the most gruesome manner this this book is not for you guys oh my gosh my poor kid read this at five <laughs> all right so you've so emma her. and norman find out because one of their what did they what, what happened to this kid um it essentially got murdered <laughs> I mean, there, there's not a polite way to say it. They they got the axe in the most unfriendly way by some demons. And okay. the person who took them to their fate is Mother. So Smiling Mother might not be that good of a person at all. Absolutely not. And these kids have to go back and pretend that they didn't see anything, they don't know nothing about nothing, and put on a brave face for oh, all the other orphans. How come? Because they're in a walled place. They are with their captors. They're being raised by their captors. 
for them at this point in time. There is no way of escape. Okay. So how does this go on for 20 volumes then? Because they're trying to escape. For 20 volumes? For 20 vo Well, so you asked, how does this go on for 20 volumes? Yeah. Well, are the kids that dumb? They can't get out? No, they're they're incredibly smart. Oh, that's right. The bigger the brain, the tastier, right? Right. The bigger the brain, the tastier the food source is. Mm -hmm. And this is volume number 13. Yes. So are there more kids that join the school? Is that how they keep the story going? There are other schools. So you find out oh. that there's other like, um, schools or farms for these kids. Now, has anybody ever escaped this without going into school? Oh, that's an awesome picture. That is absolutely... Um, yes, uh, there are escapees. You ah, find out okay. that there are humans who know about what's going on and are aiding this for the survival of the human race. Of course. You find out that there are demons who are not really on par with eating humans either. Hey, yeah, good for those guys. Okay, gotcha. It's, it's a more complex world than what we arrive at at the very first volume. All right, I got one last question then, Tina. Yes. What's the deal with the owl? We've seen him on the box set. We've seen him on covers like this one here. Right. I mean, the owl is mainly a metaphor or an imagery used for another character in the outside world that is giving knowledge uh, to these children that there is more to the world, that there is possible escape. And it kind of, he's wanting to give clues to these children that there is a world out there. Okay. So we've talked about the story, and I love this artwork. So who are the mangaka that put this together? So this is a little bit of a tease on future characters. Um, and what you can see, I love this little front page. It gives us the mangaka, which is Kayu Shirai, and the illustrator, which is Posuka Dimizu. Um, and it does kind of give you some of the characters so far. I love when books give us information on the characters so far. So if you're collecting a single volume or if you get this in a box set and you read it one by one over a gradual time, it kind of reinforces your knowledge of these characters. Yeah, right? but don't look too yeah, don't, far ahead. Because no, it not might too far because I don't want to spoil this. This is a great series. All right. So each of these books, uh, page count ranges anywhere from 200 to 220 pages. Overall, it's 3,840 pages Ooh, for all of that's them. That's a good length of reading. Any more questions, Omar? No, not about this, Tina. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in this box set, don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was our overview. If you plan on picking this up, let us know down below. Hello, subscribe, like, and hit that button. Or let us know if you've bought these individually and if you've watched the anime, what you think about this story, and if you're going into this completely blind. Uh, but yeah, that's it, everybody. Check us out on Patreon and Spread Shop Amazing Ways to support the channel. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.